Good evening to all of you. We will start the class as usual with the Kant's lecture on Homeo philosophy. Now we have to start the chapter the science and the art. Up to this time, we have been studying principles that relate to the knowledge of homeopathy. At this point, Hahnemann arrives, arrives at three important conclusions as to what we have been studying in application to practice. There are three steps to be surveyed. Up to now, it, uh, he has explained about the science, now he is explaining about the art. What is the difference? Applying science into art. First step. By what means is the physician to arrive at the necessary information relative to a disease? in order to be able to undertake the cure. <coughs> of course, that relates to the disease in general and the patient in particular. In going over the third paragraph, we gathered together the means of studying an epidemic and each man in particular. We shall now proceed to study disease in general and the patient in particular from now on to the end of, the, of this course. Studying the disease in general. That means uh, we can know it better when we read about uh, the prevalent epidemic. Suppose there are fevers, seasonal fevers will be there, seasonal sore throats will be there. So, as a general rule, what are the symptoms that we can identify in the beginning itself that we can know about the disease? But now it is uh, not enough that if we know about the disease in general and prescribe to the patient. Uh, in each particular patient, we have to study the patient in particular, not only in the in general way. But how it helps, uh, the general way, how it helps means. In the first few cases, we may miss the diagnosis and the uh, prognosis and also the what are the manifestations, what is uh, going to be done in the case, how it ends, how it develops uh, sometimes in certain diseases uh, of uh, acute infections. Uh, in first two or three cases, we may miss the condition. But after seeing a few cases, we can know, yes, this is also the same case. In the beginning itself, we can know that this is also going to develop into this is a type of sore throat or pharyngitis. In some cases of pharyngitis and in some acute conditions, if we are unable to diagnose in a given particular time, the case may advance or we may lose the case. If the patient goes to another physician, no problem. He may diagnose better, but it is very important in acute cases to know as early as possible about the case in general.
we shall now proceed to study disease in general and the patient in particular from now on to the end of this course all the rest of the study is of such a character there are a great many questions that arise in this problem that must be studied in detail the study of the nature of acute miasms and the study of the nature of chronic miasms the study of such changes as uh, uh, show there are two there are two distinct classes of sickness each one is to be studied in its most general way and each person as a particular entity number 2 second is how is he to discover the morbific powers of medicine that is to say of the instruments detailed destined to cure natural disease this constitutes a study of materia medica and the knowledge of how it is built uh, which is uh, by proving by recorded facts only by studying materia medica of course in chronic cases it uh, it is uh, no doubt it will give some time but in in acute cases the time will be very short so we should be able to decide the remedy also in a very speedy way in acute cases speedy way means acu uh, actual remedy yedo tochan remedy kadu any disease any remedy trial and not on trial and error basis only the indicated remedy we have to give as early as possible which can only prevent advancement of the disease and also which can only cure the condition otherwise the condition will be aggravated and it will advance and the condition of the patient will be worsened for example in chronic cases if two days is delayed for to give an acute rem accurate remedy no problem or one week is delayed no problem the advancement of the disease will not be so fast but if the fever is 104 or 105 Fahrenheit if we are unable to give the correct remedy not not that the fever should come down but the patient should be cured and then the fever will come down third what is the best mode of applying these morbific powers the medicines in the cure of diseases this involves the study of all methods and settling upon uh, that which is best to proceed in the study of these in a rational scientific and careful manner is the object of the further st future study of this book it leads for now on from this science of homeopathy to the art of healing we see that we have now gone over the principal principal part of that which is merely science the science of homeopathy we have none of the enormous uh, classifications of the study of homeopathy that are resorted to in, in traditional medicine they should not appear in the study of applied homeopathy so what a disease which medicine is required for so and so disease which medicine will work in that way we should not remember we should not search in uh, we should not search in that way the study of the classification of disease as is done in traditional medicine is useful because we come in contact with the world no doubt we have to study the nature of the disease for two two important things one is for the world for the sake of the world what is your diagnosis doctor how what do you think the patients may be asking what do you think what is your diagnosis because they are more educated because uh, due to uh, by the means of uh, the the internet and all these things they are uh, they are able to grasp about the nature of many diseases so what is your opinion what is your diagnosis and why i got this why should i got this ఎందుకొచ్చింది అండి అంటారు నువ్వే చెప్పాలి ఎందుకొచ్చింది ఏం చేసావు ఎందుకొచ్చావు నువ్వే చెప్పాలి ఏం తిన్నావో ఏం ఆలోచించావో ఏం చేసావో అవన్నీ నువ్వు చెప్పాల్సింది కదా ఆన్సరు అంటే వీ షుడ్ ఎలిసిట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది పేషెంట్ 
why i got this when he asks for that we have to elicit the answer from the patient himself why he got that problem because of his ill behavior or uh, uh, ill behavior in diet in his routine in his sleep what happened and second one is not only for the uh, sake of world second one is to know the prognosis of the uh, disease prognosis of the patient if we know the uh, nature of the disease we can know in, in what stage the patient is how can we inform them for example if a patient comes to comes with an advanced stage of cancer or advanced stage of disease tuberculosis he asks can you cure it can i be cured completely doctor if we do not know about this stage we can say no doubt we can cure with homeopathy but if we know about this stage if the fit is in the third stage or final stage of cancer we have to advise the patient we have to inform the patient that we will only try your is an advanced condition if you want to continue the case uh, treatment you can continue we cannot assure about cure we can try um, if the medicines will work then only we can say how, how far you are going to improve how far you will survive that we can say only after the application of medicine how the medicine acts then only we can say this we can uh, explain to the patient when we know about the prognosis of the case blindly we cannot uh, we should not uh, Say that no no you you can be cured. Or suppose if the case, if we did not study the case, we do not know the prognosis. If the patient came and we have noted down the case and he explained about in the early morning uh, exactly he explains morning stool uh, rises him from bed early morning stool. he runs <laughs> so after seeing the symptom we may be tempted to prescribe sulfur because uh, because we did not study the case in a pro- proper way the patient already he, he had suffered with severe tuberculosis of the lungs and also he had cavities in the lungs only basing upon this symptom if we prescribe sulfur after some time what happens he, he starts vomiting blood we cannot understand why it is happening he is better in his morning diarrhea <laughs> so because of uh, to know all these things to know the prognosis we have to know the general state of the disease also what is the condition in which state he is that also very important but not for the sake of prescription that he emphasizes the knowledge of the disease it will not help in any way for the prescription as the boards of uh, health requires us to state what particular disease according to classification a patient died from classified in accordance with the old school nosology we have therefore to go into the study of diagnosis so if the patient dies how, how can you diagnose what will you say is what he has died why he has died suppose the patient is improving well he got an acute condition after your treatment he is improving well suddenly he collapses sometimes why what happened due to sudden there may be a correlation but not due to the disease and the treatment the if a patient dies due to sudden cardiac arrest in any situation it may happen recently uh, one patient uh, she was telling that one of her relatives while uh, explaining in the class uh, he, he was writing on the board suddenly he got attack and fall, fell down sudden cardiac arrest recently 2 3 days back one patient said that so 
if a patient if a person gets sudden cardiac arrest after improving from the acute disease also you should be able to know why he has died what was the cause if you do not know about the condition you may think that for while uh, uh, convalescing from the acute disease the patient have died due to weakness but not due to weakness sudden cardiac arrest the patient has passed away so that you should be able to explain in homeopathy diagnosis cuts very little figure uh, in the treatment but all the ultimates in the case must be brought forward and described by name it will not in any way definitely it will not help for the sake of treatment but we should be able to know Uh, to explain about the condition to inform about the condition to know about the condition after all these things you should be able to know we want the use of adjectives we want uh, the use of large uh, language we want a descriptive power in order that the nature of the sickness uh, which is uh, uh, which is all the man can know about the disease may be brought out on paper and thereby cause it to appear at any time thereafter to the mind of the physician uh, everything you have to write on the paper mar multi specialty hospitals lo adhe rastadu kada chinna jai nena pade ede vo rastadu patient came ede nena raste at the time of discharge the patient is uh, And I say, yeah, yeah. Because Rajesh is a ego, he medical system. That's all language. Yeah, lah. Ah, what? Ah, how it is. That all around the language. What we record about the word that point. Ah, if the physician were simply to make a study of the disease and after studying it, uh, studying it, were to give it a name and let that name constitute the record. no future prescription could be made and the physician thereafter in referring to this record uh, this uh, record would know nothing about its nature the name conveys no idea of the nature of the sickness only its place is a general classification homeopathy can be and other work important and other work too the knowledge of the nature of the individual sickness is necessary for a prescription and this depends upon the ascertainment of the details the very first of this study is to prove and realize that there are two classes of diseases acute and chronic the general classification of all diseases is, is made in this way the acute are thrown into one group and studied as acute diseases and so with the chronic <coughs> an acute miasm is one that comes upon the economy passes through its regular prodromal period uh, longer or shorter has its period of progress and period of decline and in which there is a tendency to recover there is a tendency to recover yeah and if the doctor can utilize it the patient will recover the way is the doctor can treat well <laughs> this tendency tendency can be utilized well the patient recovers <laughs> if he cannot uh, treat the case uh, successfully this uh, this will be the uh, this third stage will be the end of the patient <laughs> A chronic miasm is one that is that has its period of prodrome, period of progress, and no period of decline. It is continuous, never ending, except with the death of the patient. And then chronic disease is something that unless it is properly treated, it cannot be cured. For a cure disease, a disease even though there is no treatment is given, if the person's health is strong, if he is vigorous. even without medicine he may recover after its period is passed prodromal period period of progress and during period of decline 
when his course is completed if the patient is strong and uh, previously if he is healthy he will recover even without treatment but chronic diseases in chronic diseases it will not he will not recover unless treatment is proper treatment is given he will not definitely recover period of prodrome will be there period of progress will be there that but period of decline is only with the death of the patient in chronic diseases unless proper treatment is given ha huh? the acute diseases need much less study than the chronic they are all such a, such as are contagious or infectious such as have a miasmatic character and are capable of running a definite course when man disorders his stomach and has an attack of vomiting and from which he has no after trouble he has suffered merely from an indigestion indisposition why he gets vomiting first is also correct if he takes an unwanted thing or eats more definitely they uh, to save him it will be thrown out <laughs> and also in food poisoning also he suffers from vomiting and more so why otherwise if it is inside he will definitely die if it goes out he may save even without treatment also if he uh, completely it goes out he may save if he gets the treatment no problem definitely he will save such conditions from external causes are not miasm they are only indisposition for example a person is playing cards in the night or uh, chatting chit chatting friends are chit chatting up to 3 o'clock in the night morning after waking up he gets a very uh, restlessness body pains very weakness everything will be there why he got the cause is only delayed sleeping in the night so this is this is only indisposition otherwise he, uh, he has gone to second show cinema that cinema is a very big old cinema e maya bazaar ho la the paya paatal bhairo edo sara paat cinema ho la ke ledu vachari ratri id inti vachari mood ayindi appudu borukunnadu marna le isariki badhakanga odu mopulu ga kalu dirutunnattu ga ivanni unde ivanni disease ga antnadu indisposition marna lo go go towards pagal rest isthunna or given set without medicine also they will set right if he has he has eaten more in the afternoon in the night he if he observes fasting by next day he will be normal <coughs> so all these are the indisposition things that go through the mouth uh, into the stomach and thereby produce a sickness act either as uh, uh, i act either as rousers up or for some old trouble or as a, me- a mechanical causes of disturbance the pure disease on the other hand whether acquired or inherited or those that flow from the innermost to the outermost while making man sick so there is what the difference is in, in, the, in the previous uh, first condition the things go from mouth to stomach and they will cause the sickness if the sickness may be acute due to the items which has gone inside or they will disturb the economy and they will bring out the old disease the second thing is innermost is affected and slowly the outermost is affected either inherited or acquired these causes that make man sick are influx of simple substances and they run a fixed distinct course each one has its own period of prodrome its own period of progress whereby the traditional school of medicine has fixed what it calls pathognomonic symptoms it is well to know these symptoms not for the purpose of naming merely 
but for the purpose of association. Now lesser ratings of Kent. We are reading about the proving of Lacasis. February 19th, 16th, 17th, 18th, over. February 19th. During shopping at noon, felt weak and sinking from heart to stomach. Palpitation during lecture, 2 p.m. Kept moving about in chair. Sore under scap left scapula. Pressure of chair back caused palpitation followed by cough. Could breathe better in open air so, so took a long walk. Heart seemed to stop beating then made extra exertion. Attacks of palpitation until 11 pm causing a ha hacking cough each time. February 20th. Slept well at night. Dreams. Toward morning, morning dreamed I was almost dead with a heart disease. <laughs> Next is He gets the dream as if he is dead and preparations are being made by the relatives and everything can be studied. But did not wish my friends to know of it. <laughs> was in a crowd was suffocated and uh, feet so cold, like walking on ice. We should to get in the air, but trying to get through the crowd caused palpitation. Thought my body had become mottled like a snake skin. Uh, thought it would be uh, soon on my face, so that I could not go in company anymore. Did not know why this was, but it was a punishment which I, I would understand in another world. Desired the time to die to uh, come quickly, uh, for my heart ached so that I could not be uh, happy, neither make my friends happy. Slight palpitation on rising, increased so uh, that I could not walk after 11 am. Tried heating uh, by, uh, uh, tr tried he uh, heating by grate, no relief. Palpitation every few minutes as that I uh, coughed, uh, could not talk or laugh, must have uh, dress unbuttoned, <laughs> aching all through left thorax, a dragging sensation, frequent pain in the second inter intercostal seemed to pull inwards and down, <laughs> a creamy leucorrhea on rising in morning after sitting, pain boring inwards. Uh, in right occiput, old symptoms, leucorrhea light green, red sand in urine, adheres to sides of vessel, menses closed with pus like discharge. February 20th, sixth day, burning in right ear and last upper molar, tooth sore, felt as though it set in an ulcer, must uh, dry and warm the feet every hour or so. Palpitation in stomach after eating. February 21st, 7th day. Violent palpitation while dressing. Uh, voice trembled, so I could not talk. Great weakness of lower extremities. Then of upper arms. Was asked if I, I had mental anxiety because the face showed so much anguish. Was unusually happy unless talking which caused palpitation. 10 a.m. Violent throbbing of arteries supplying abdominal viscera, left side extending into the rectum. Quick rapid beating causing a change of position. Nerve of the left leg seems to be twitching, throbbing. Uh, wake with coldness, which causes me uh, to crawl down in bed to warm and sleep. 5 a.m. Sleep. Dreams of pure white cough and cow. Uh, waked in slight perspiration, coldness continues until until 11 a.m. and the cough comes on, an old symptom now worsens. Uh, must warm the feet, 
stool irregular for a week requires great effort to do small anus protrudes like a cushion uh, before pieces are passed try several times to appease the unfinished sensation must push tissues back smarting long time after stool cough pains in the left side abdomen and from perineum upwards copious leucorrhea at stool or during any exertion backache relieved by passing a hot creamy slightly uh, stringy discharge faint acrid odor this flow often relieves not like feeling of left over a old symptoms no appetite for breakfast or lunch because of throbbing in ha- in heart and left side eat uh, eat well up to uh, at 6 pm burning in stomach cold water nauseous can feel co- feel cold water all through the abdomen hands burn veins in hands so distended uh, must uh, hold them up to get relief cold in morning first day that have uh, felt like study in winter this uh, this dose did not produce left sided sore throat ulcerated odor from stomach 4:30 am uh, for week have awakened cold and sen- uh, sensation of squirming coldness over heart stomach back flesh is cold ameliorated by moving about awake at 6 am in slight perspiration sweat again in pm i could have Set again PM. O- order slightly of garlic. Frequently must arise at 5 a.m. to relieve backache by urinating. Old symptoms are more prominent since uh, taking the dose. Carefully noticed before. Kent. February 28th. <coughs> 14th day. <coughs> frequent quivering aching extens are proprius policies lame nearly let me fall uh, when standing on tiptoe aching in hypogastrium and inguinal region pain in uterus going upward while leaning forward burning in different spots of the body can spell correctly but not from letters rapidly mix words feel quite happy Uh, smell of uh, turpentine caused the distress in lumbar region extending downward and forward into ovarian and hypogastric region like dysmenorrhea lesser ratings of hanuman we are reading prevention of epidemic symptoms If not an iron tube communicating with the open air should open in the floor of the cell passing in winter through a heated stove in order to conduct in a supply of fresh warm air it is great cruelty to shut up many prisoners together without allowing at least 500 cubic feet of space and air for each <laughs> <laughs> if this be not allowed the better ones among the prisoners are exposed to much annoyance by the bad behavior of the worse ones and it is incredible and rapidly with which um, that most destructive of all animal poisons the virus of the most uh, fatal pestilence is generated police authorities be human i scarcely need to remark <laughs> that the often long continued imprisonment of debtors who are uh, frequently deserving of compassion ought to be made at least an innocuous for the health of the prisoners of the uh, turkeys and of the uh, of those who visit them etc as that of criminals when foreign prisoners are uh, 
uh, field hospitals are introduced into a uh, healthy country in time of war whether temporarily or permanently the authorities if they have it in their power to act should take care that an epidemic is not thereby brought into the country prisoners of war who are not unfrequently suffering from typhus and putrid fevers in their transit uh, through a country are generally when remaining for the night in towns lodged in the town halls apparently in order that they may be kept more securely but how often has this practice given rise to the spread of the epidemic it would be safer to quarter them in a large coach houses stables bar- barns etc outside the town to make them lie undressed on straw mattresses keeping them warmly covered in winter and in this manner uh, retaining them until their march can be renewed on the march they have plenty of air and exercise in this way they get uh, rest and warmth and are incapacitated from making their escape it would be safer to quarter them in large coach houses with tables barns etc outside the town to make them lie undressed on uh, uh straw mattresses keeping them warmly covered in winter uh, if the season of the year admit of the of it uh, they must be compelled to wash each other's clothes and linen with hot water and to dry them in the open air the most destructive pestilences are most easily engen- engendered by uh, mili- military military hospitals it would be the most disgraceful bar- barbarity even in an uh, enemy to erect them in the middle of the town but if nevertheless this is done uh, they remain for the poor townsman if they bring uh, pestilence along with them as they usually do very few means of preserving the life and health of himself and family and these uh, he should carefully attend to if he will not or cannot leave the town he must at all events avoid all intercourse uh, and communication with the sick with infected houses and even with the uh, with those who frequent such houses if they bring him anything uh, he should take it from them at that his house door or in the open court <laughs> should it be articles of clothing or linen he should not make use of them before he has plunged them into hot water mingled with vinegar in the open court or thoroughly fumigated them with sulfur should it be articles of food let him not partake of them before preparing them on the fire or otherwise heating them a person who is exposed to the danger of infection should not allow his a uh, courage to sink uh, should not leave off uh, any of uh, his accustomed comforts rest exercise food or drink but he should also carefully avoid all excess in any of these things as also in uh, passions uh, venereal excitement etc et the other prophylactic uh, measures that should be adopted uh, will be found in the first part of the friend of health a slight increase of stimulants such as wine tobacco and stuff is said to be a powerful prophylactic against infectious diseases infectious diseases have even been communicated by money and letter the farmer may be washed washed in boil boiling water <laughs> the, the latter fumigated with sulfur although the animal poisons called infect, infectious miasmata are not infectious at the distance of several paces in still open air so that we may with the exercise of great care uh, preserve our house free house free from infection in the midst of houses where the melody is raising 
uh, we should remember that a draught of draught of air can carry the miasms arising from a sick person to a distance of many paces and then occasion infection on the account on that account we should avoid traversing the narrow lanes where we should have to pass close by a sick person and for a similar reason we should shun narrow passages through houses in the middle of the narrow passages when you go to the bed above all we should refrain from looking into an open window and conversing with the people in whose house or room cases of infections infectious diseases may exist kitki ila chuda ఎయిర్ సర్క్యులేషన్ ఉండదు కదా ఇప్పుడు అందుకే అపార్ట్మెంట్స్ లో డిస్టెన్స్ మధ్యలో కంపల్సరీ చేశారు కాబట్టి అపార్ట్మెంట్స్ లో ఏం ప్రాబ్లం లేకుండా ఉంటుంది దగ్గర 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 బాంబే అక్కడ అక్కడ చూస్తే ఓల్డ్ అపార్ట్మెంట్స్ ఉంటాయి చాలా నేరు హైదరాబాద్ లో కొన్ని ఏరియాస్ ఓల్డ్ ఏరియాస్ లో కట్టిన అపార్ట్మెంట్స్ బాంబేలో కొన్ని ఓల్డ్ ఏరియాస్ లో కట్టిన అపార్ట్మెంట్స్ చూస్తే పక్క పక్కనే పక్క పక్కన అసలు ఒక అపార్ట్మెంట్ కి ఇంకో అపార్ట్మెంట్ కి మధ్య తోట ఉండదు అసలు ఒక కంప్లీట్ అపార్ట్మెంట్ ఒక ఫుల్ అపార్ట్మెంట్ కి ఇంకో అపార్ట్మెంట్ కి మధ్యన ఎక్కువ స్పేస్ ఉండదు కొన్ని ఏరియాస్ లో చూస్తే బాంబేలో చూసాను హైదరాబాద్ లో చూసా క్లినికల్ మెటీరియా మెడిక ఫ్యారింగ్టన్ వీఆర్ రీడింగ్ అబౌట్ సెపియా ఎంతయ్యా హోమియోపతి వరకే కాకుండా అసలు ఎన్ని డైమెన్షన్స్ ఇచ్చారు Naxvamika will be called for in eye infections associated with liver disease. The symptoms are worse in the morning and some of them are relieved by cold bathing. Natramur like sepia is indicated in eye affections reflex from uterine disease. The lids draw, droop. But under natramur there is more spasmodic closure of the lids in conjunctivitis. The discharges are thin and acrid. there are crack, cracks in the canthi and also in the corners of the mouth veins over the eyes are present worse when looking down alumina likewise has a falling of the lids dryness burning the dim sight but alumina has <coughs> has aggravation in the evening and at night the inner canthi are affected next we shall consider the action of sepia on the abdominal organ it is indicated in the form of dyspepsia mentioned above and also in the dyspepsia incident to uterine diseases when it is associated with a gone empty feeling in the epigastrium or in the abdomen uh, with a sour or bitter taste in the mouth and with a longing for acids or pickles which seem to relieve these symptoms the tongue is coated white the bubbles are usually constipated the stools are hard dry and inner insufficient or even if not indurated they are expelled with difficulty the abdomen is swollen and distended with flatus and there is almost always a soreness in the hepatic region on making a physical exploration you find the liver enlarged not from fatty or amyloid degeneration but from congestion hemorrhoids are also an indication for sepia where there is bleeding at stool with a feeling of fullness in the, uh, in the rectum as though it were distended with some foreign material which seems to excite an urging to stool the urine has a peculiar fetid odor and is very turbid when standing it deposits an uh, it deposits a uric acid sediment which adheres tenaciously to the side of the vessel 
Lycopodium is uh, a worthy uh, rival of sepia in the condition just described. The distinction, the, the distinction between the two remedies may be given in a very few words. A sensation of emptiness in the epigastrium is more char characteristic of sepia. Replation after eating of lycopodium. Indeed, with the last named drug, the replation overshadows the other symptoms, often existing without any alteration in the appearance of the tongue. Sour taste and sour or burning erectations are, however, very common. But the lycopodium law, you might to quote a tongue and attend to the sepia law, you need to learn. And the sepia law, but it's strong on the end of the world law. Sour taste and sour or burning erectations are, however, very common. The abdomen is in a state of uh, ferment. After eating, the circulation is disturbed with irresistible drowsiness. Homeolo Sarita Dapasana Salaman Dhyan Kundar and Homeolo Sarana Vada Sinatrat and Nidra 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 Vada Homeolo Sarita Dapasana <laughs> the urine contains a sediment of uh, free red sand. The bubbles are constipated with urging and constriction, urging and constriction of the anus. The urine, however, is not so offensive as under sepia. Sulfur resembles sepia in many respects. Are you correct? Sulfur is a beer, sala, sala polycolor. Ain't it? Ain't it? Physical slur, I got a mental slur. Laziness, uncleanliness, untidiness, unruliness. When it's sulfur alone, it's a sepia alone. Sepia out of all internal and tough. I only account a Japan. I use Abdurangani. Pillar and eating on Sangani, while a bottle and eating on Sangani, into a school eating on Sangani, into a early gowns of Sangani, every window. Arsenic out in Tonte and Sahara, wonderful gowns and though. Sepia will in Tonta and the worst gowns. Sepia, huh? Aveni Barlado. We feel a topmost top and uncleanliness, so untidiness. If it and it loans all a top remedies, sulfur sepia of the. The Piawala Castle, the Parita, complete the Parita and Bandako. As the vitamin of idea on the door, Waka, Chadda on it under the door, Waka desire on the door, while I'm so down on the door. Even the intermingle in the Piala. I have the Lal Chenavala, the Anaka, the school in Chiragan, Salaman, the Antologist, Salulu, but school in Chiragan, Akalanta, while Gedor Jess Nediga, Vida Castle. I aspect on the Piawala. Which is another one of the world's who's put the other than her. And I've read those who don't. Affections lack about them and I turned down to body when I come to the entry. Affections lack about them on the ancestor is in Jeru. Into Walla Kaos and a sort of fellow of Walla Patlo, Walla Tukun, Walla School, and I wilded a day, Walla lived in Jeru. Yes, sir. <laughs> in sulfur, it is laziness. In sepia, also, it is laziness. In sepia, indifference and lack of affection is also there prominently. But untidiness, laziness, uncleanliness, disorderliness, all these are common to sulfur and sepia. Ah, selfishness. Selfishness is, selfishness is more common in sulfur, more strong in sulfur. What is it? What is it? sulfur book is a book. Sulfur is a print example. Sulfur is a print example. Sulfur is a print example. Sulfur Sulfur is a print example. Sulfur is a print 
ఉండే వాడు సల్ఫర్ గాడు ఏంటంటే వాడికి అన్ని మిగతా వాడు చేయాలి కానీ వీళ్ళు ఏమవుతారు వీళ్ళు ఎలా ఉంటారు వీడు తింటున్నారో లేదా వీళ్ళకి టైం ఎలా ఉంది అనేటువంటిది గుర్తుంది ఒక వెనకార్డియం స్వామీజీకి మ్యాచ్ గారు చూసి వెనకార్డియం వేసాక పిచ్చువేషన్ మానేసాడు వాడు మా అంతమంది గుర్తుంది కదిలే వాడు కాక వాడు దీనికి వెళ్ళాలన్నా శిష్యులు అటెండ్ అవ్వాల్సిందే వాడు అక్కడే అక్కడే ఏంటంటే గురువు గారికి మన ఈ రకం కూడా అంత హారిబుల్ అనమాట అందుకే వెనకార్డియం ఫిఫ్టీ ఏం వేసేట్టు మ్యాచ్ గారు దాంట్లో ఇచ్చారు ఆ తర్వాత అంటే మానేసాడు మానేస్తే సరైన మనిషి అయ్యాడు స్వామీజీకి వస్తే మామూలు మనిషి అయ్యాడు వాడు అదేదో హిందీ సినిమాలో అది దొంగ స్వామీజీ వేషం వేసుకుని వచ్చిన వాడిని మోసం చేస్తూ ఉంటాడు వాడేవాడో పాపం అమ్మాయి కూడా వస్తాడు ఏ సినిమానో గుర్తులేదు వస్తే మా స్వామీజీ మా మా నేను కష్టాల్లో ఉన్న నన్ను అనుగ్రహించిందంటే ఈ కింద నుంచి పండు పండు ఒకటి తీసి ఇచ్చింది బట్టికెళ్ళి అంటాడు వాడు శిష్యులు అందరూ వెళ్ళిపోగానే వీడు మామూలు మామూలుగానే ఉంటారు వీళ్ళు సల్ఫర్ రిజంబుల్స్ సెపియా ఇన్ మెనీ రెస్పెక్ట్స్ బోత్ ఆర్ సూటబుల్ ఇన్ టార్పిడ్ కేసెస్ విత్ డిఫెక్టివ్ రియాక్షన్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఎబ్డామినల్ ప్లెథోరా కంజెస్టెడ్ లివర్ ఫైల్స్ కాన్స్టిపేషన్ హంగర్ అబౌట్ లెవెన్ ఏఎం bitter or sour taste erectations sour or tasting like bad eggs uh, fullness from little uh, fullness from little food etc in sulfur the face is more blotched red and uh, uh, times uh, red at times spotted sulfur lo sulfur word face in sulfur the face will be red in sepia the face will be yellow Chalaiwan asiates him. He vomits food. He craves brandy or beer and sweets. But they disagree. He experiences a hunger at 11 a.m. While in sepia, it is more of a gone, faint feeling. The constipation is attended with ineffectual urging like an axvamika. For gone, empty feeling in the epigastrium, compare sepia with calcarea ostrium, ostriarum, uh, cocculus, calicarb, స్కానం ఇగ్నేషియా కార్బోనమాలిస్ సర్సప్రెల్లా నికోలం ఒలియాండర్ ఇపికా కథియా స్టాఫిసెగ్రియా యాక్టియా రెసిమోసా అండ్ హైడ్రాక్సిస్ కాక్యులస్ హ్యాస్ ది వీక్నెస్ ఎక్స్టెండింగ్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ది అబ్డామినెడ్ చెస్ట్ ఇట్ టైర్స్ హర్ టు టాక్ ది ఫీలింగ్ ఈజ్ రెన్యూడ్ బై ఓవర్ ఎగ్జర్షన్ అండ్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ బై లాస్ ఆఫ్ స్లీప్ once i have treated one case to with tia tia it is the patient one patient she was coming all her complaints were emulated by drinking tea slowly what happened for only few hours she was getting relief she has to take a number of teas which is causing more other symptoms so she came to treatment then i asked her to stop taking tea i have given tea tapti with that she was completely cured after uh, much improvement uh, she discontinued the treatment she took she uh, discontinued the treatment and after 7 or 8 months she came again i am getting the symptoms you please give that tea medicine she was still <laughs> బాబు ఆ టీ మంది ఇవ్వండి అప్పుడు ఇచ్చారు కదా తగ్గింది అని మళ్ళీ కాకులస్ హ్యాస్ ది వీక్నెస్ ఎక్స్టెండింగ్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ది అబ్డామిన్ అండ్ చెస్ట్ ఇట్ టైర్స్ హర్ టు టాక్ ది ఫీలింగ్ ఈజ్ రెన్యూడ్ బై ఓవర్ ఎగ్జర్షన్ అండ్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ బై లాస్ ఆఫ్ స్లీప్ క్యాలికార్బ్ హ్యాస్ ఎంటీ ఫీలింగ్ బిఫోర్ ఈటింగ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రపోర్షన్ టు ది ఫీలింగ్ ఆఫ్ వ్యాక్యూటీ కాజ్ బై హంగర్ with undue bloating after eating especially after soup in small quantity under stanum the sensation continues after eating and extends all over the chest with ignatia it is attended by sighing nitur pulan mata nitur pulu gada moolu ante morning 
கையங்கட்ட நிட்டு ஒரு போ அண்டர் கார்போஹைட்ரேட்லாம் continuous hiccups if uh, if we call her uh, very late the hiccups used to aggravate if we call early she uh, it was less <laughs> with the highest chance she was cured ala ekkada chestu unde avada appointment ayipe late ayipoyindam ka raavadam late ayipe akada wait cheyandi pilustha ante ee rope ekku ayipothundi ala vibharita గమ్మత్తుగా ఉంటాయి హిస్టరికల్ కంప్లైంట్స్ ఒక పేషెంట్ లో చూస్తాను ఒక అమ్మాయి ఫిట్స్ ఇలా కూర్చుని మూలిగేస్తూ ఉండేది ఇలా ఊగుతూ ఉండేది ఇలా మూలిగేస్తూ ఉండేది మామూలుగా మనం మాట్లాడిస్తే అన్నిటికి సమాధానం చెప్పేది ఒక పావు గంట అరగంట ముప్పావు గంట మాట్లాడినా ఫిట్ వచ్చేది కాదు అవును శుభ్రంగా మాట్లాడేది అన్ని చెప్పేది అన్ని కబుర్లు చెప్పేది అయిపోయి కామ అయిపోయాక మళ్ళీ ఓ ఓ ఓ అని ఇలా మూలుగుతూ ఏదైనా ఇలా ఊగి ఊగేస్తూ ఉండేది ఫిట్స్ అనమాట అది తగ్గిపోయింది లైన్ లో ఉంటామంటే ఆడికి స్విట్ వచ్చి కడుతు పడిపోయేది మొట్ట మొట్ట రెండు సార్లు వీక్నెస్ అనుకుని చైనా వేసిన తర్వాత మూడో సార్ కూడా తీసుకొస్తూ ఉంటే ఆగ్రా అన్నారు అలాగే మా మామూలు శాఖ లేక బట్టర్ అని అన్నారు అని తీసుకొచ్చి వేస్తే రెండు నిమిషాలు తగ్గినాయి చైనా అంతమంది చైనా వేడే రెండు నిమిషాలు తగ్గిపోయేది ఆ తర్వాత పిలిచి పంపించి పంపించేస్తారు మరి మూడోసారి అయిన తర్వాత ఈ శాఖ లేక అయింది కానీ అది కూడా అలాగే వెంటనే తగ్గింది ఆయన కూర్చోమ్మ పిలుస్తా అని చెప్పారు ఆ టర్న్ వచ్చేవరకు ఆడ కూర్చోబెట్టి అప్పుడు మంది ఇచ్చారు ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ కూడా ఏం చేస్తుంటారు పిల్లలు ఏడుస్తుంటే ఎందుకు పిలిచేస్తా అంకలు చిన్నపిల్లలు కదా వాడు పిల్లలకి మందు కాకపోయినా వాడిని తీసుకుని వచ్చి వాడిని బయట గిరుతూ ఉంటారు వాడు ఏడుస్తూ ఉంటారు కదా అలా వచ్చిన వాళ్ళు తెలుస్తారు మనకి అయితే వెనక్కి వెళ్ళి తీసుకున్నట్టు లేదు ఉంటా అడ్వాంటేజ్ మనం అదే పోయింది కదా వాళ్ళకి మనం ప్రివిలేజ్ ఇస్తూ దాన్ని అడ్వాంటేజ్ తీసుకుంటే ఎగ్రవేటెడ్ బై ది డాక్టర్ రోజు వన్ నాట్ సిక్స్ వన్ నాట్ ఫైవ్ వన్ నాట్ సిక్స్ రోజు ఏం చేద్దంటే మంచం నుంచి లేస్తే కోడలు తను పని చేయాలని నూట ఆరు జ్వరం అంటే కోడలు పని చేస్తున్నాడు మంచం దగ్గర అందుకు అందుకు చేసే దెబ్బని 
Sarsaprala has it uh, has uh, it associated <coughs> with uh, rumbling in the abdomen. Nikolam without a desire for food. Oleander with the sensation of distended abdomen. The chest feels empty and cold. The Actia racemosa is excellent. <coughs> when with the faint empty feeling in the epigastrium, there is a trembling wavy sensation spreading from the stomach over the body. Hydrastis relieves when there is a sinking sensation, palpitation of the heart and mucus coated stools. Thea produces a gone faint feeling, sick headache radiating from one point and pains in the left ovary. నిలా చదవలేదు మనం now we will go through the remedy sanicula in clark dictionary of metra medica why we are reading sanicula is because it is a chronic for moisture nux moisture chamomilla for all spina for all these things it acts as a, a chronic remedy very wonderful remedy హైలీ స్టబర్న ఈ క్యామెలా సినా లాంటి స్టబర్నెస్ లో మాస్టర్స్ లాంటి స్టబర్నెస్ లో చాలా టాప్ రెమెడీస్ లో ఇది అవి కొంతవరకు పని చేసి వదిలేస్తుంటే సైనిక్ లో ఫర్ క్యామెలా టూజా ఈజ్ వన్ క్రానిక్ రెమెడీ సానిక్ ఈజ్ అనదర్ క్రానిక్ రెమెడీ ఫర్ సినా Sornam is one chronic remedy and Sanicula is another chronic remedy. That's why I have to go to the water. 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 Sanicula. Sanicula Aqua. A mineral spring water of Watawa tree. USA containing approximately in grains of gallon uh, in ga- gains per gallon natrium or uh, calcium or magnesium or calcium bicarbonate calcium sulfate uh, calcium sulfate nat- natrium bicarbonate natrium bromatum ferrum bicarbonate natrium iodide silicia alumina uh, and traces of lithium bicarb natrium phosphate borax di- uh, borax in the remedy sarfana master was dilutions of this spring water triture ha huh? ah pure water ga do koni koni areas la springs bhoomi nunchi ate waterfalls nunchi vastay kada koni areas alanti
triturations of the evaporated salt. This remedy has sometimes been confounded with the plant sanicula Mary Land, uh, Landica black snake root. Clinical Amenorrhea Anterior Crural Neuralgia Asthma Bee stings Boils uh, Blind Barbarigmus uh, Coccyx Soreness of Condylometa Conjunctivitis constrict, Constipation Of Children Cornea Ulceration of Coriza Cough Dandruff Debility Diabetes Diarrhea Digestion Slow Dropsy during pregnancy, eczema, emaciation, enuresis, excoriations, food sweat, gastritis, gum boil, headache, indisposition, influenza, intermittents, <coughs> intestinal sand, itch, suppressed itch, itching, leucorrhea, soreness of liver, lumbago, melancholy. <coughs> Thin milk, sore mouth, neuralgia, neurasthenia, night terrors, crusts of nose in, ophthalmia, tarsi, os uteri, dilated, tarsi, os uteri, dilated, ossification too early, ossification too early, yeah. ozenia, perspiration excessive, Pot bellied children, sickness of pregnancy, dropsy of rectum, cramp in, rheumatism, rickets, scurvy, sea sickness, shoulders, rheumatism of shoulders, sore throat, tongue, ringworm of tongue, burning, toothache, prolapses of uterus, soreness of tumor of, vomiting of milk, of water, wrist, boils on. The water of Sanicula spring is uh, without odor or color and has an agreeable and slightly alkaline taste. It was proved by J.G. Uh, Goodlash, who with his family drank it for more than a year. <laughs> uh? Writing in H.P. September uh, 1890, uh, Gun, Gun, uh, Gundlash says, though, uh, though some five years since the proving was made, we all, that is my family, still suffer from the effect. And I fear never will fully get over, get over them as nearly all the symptoms still recur. Sherbino proved sanicula in the potencies and a large number of symptoms of both provings have been confirmed. We have in Sanicula one of the best proved remedies of the Materia Medica, a polycrest and antisoric of wide range. My schema is taken from the arrangement of Frank W. Patch in medicine so and so. Brackets indicate cured symptoms. The cachexia of Sanicula is its most pronounced feature, weakness, emaciation, itching, ill-nourished skin, uh, pim pimply face. <clears throat> Dirty, greasy and brownish appearance of the body, scrofulous ophthalmia and scrofulous eruptions, cold, clammy hands of, and feet, foul-smelling foot sweat, profuse sweat of the back of head and neck, hair dry and lusterless, thick dandruff on scalp and eyebrows, slow digestion, constipation, or else diarrhea, stools turning green, pot belly, rickety children. On the other hand, when taken by a pregnant woman, Sanicula has caused premature closing of the sutures and fontanels prior to birth. Putakmunda fontanels close it right. Early ossification under The mental state of Sanicula, cacaxia, is characterized by lack of energy with no stability of purpose. With no stability of purpose. Jumping from one work to another, never finishing anything. Uh, there is much depression with a sense of impending mis misfortune. Children are stubborn, willful, get angry and throw themselves backward. Digestion is slow. 
children vomit milk or thick curds soon after nursing the menses are irregular delayed scanty and attended with pain nervous sens- sensibility is exaggerated and there is general and local intolerance of least jar this has led to, to its successful use in train sickness and sea sickness <laughs> <laughs> The low vitality of sanicula is evidenced in the cold uh, clamminess of other parts besides the hands and feet. Sherbino relates this case. Mr. F had neuralgia of coccyx, sacrum and lumbar region aggravated by any movement, turning in bed, rising from chair, stooping, emulated by keeping still. Colosynthal on a modal test we pay him. ఫీట్మీస్ <laughs> the foot sweat occurs between the toes making them sore as well as on the uh, soles which are as if uh, um, one one had stepped in cold water on the other hand there may be burning of the soles must uncover or put them in a cool place and child child kicks off clothing even in coldest weather tallaga unte gane asal garinchaler anadu i recall the orders of sanicula are characteristic this stool has an order of rotten cheese and no amount of washing will get rid of it the flatus has the same order vaginal discharges and condylomata of penis have an order of fish brine this has led uh, led to a number of cures the digestive tract is gen- uh, greatly disordered by sericula food has a long after taste uh, turns sour children vomit milk looking like uh, skimmer case appetite is increased hungry before meals are disordered craves salt craves fat back and which aggravates eating causes a desire for stool must leave the table great thirst <coughs> drinks little and often vomits as soon as it reaches the stomach incontinence of urine and feces urging from from flatus uh, must <coughs> cross legs to prevent Uh, as a uh, feces escaping sanicula is uh, uh, as great a remedy in constipation as in diarrhea there is no desire for stool till a long accumulation has occurred after great straining the stool partially expelled recedes large evacuation of small dry gray balls uh, which have to be which have to be removed mechanically it's all out learn stool square as if a car would with a knife <laughs> stool square as if car would with a knife ala cut to cut chest square la cut chestara anatuga the diarrhea is changeable in character and color like scrambled eggs gaudy green grass green turns green on standing like scum of a frog pond there is excoriation of skin about anus perineum and genital as well as weakness of rectum and bladder there is uterine weakness and bearing down of bearing down as if contents of pelvis would escape must place hand to vulva to prevent it walking miss step or jar aggravates this and also soreness of the uterus sherbino relates the case of mrs x who had been in poor health a, a number of years tall anemic has to urinate too often and too profusely rises several times in night urine clear and pale has leucorrhea profuse changeable in color at times milky then yellow aggravated during stool weakness and pro- pro- prostrated rumbling in bowels before meals emulated after eating and when stomach is full hands cold clammy also feet aggravated in the cold weather 
stockings always damp uh, two doses of sanicula 10m and then 50m cured the all the trouble hc maro regards sanicula as the chronic of chamomilla <laughs> He regards the, he regards the case of a baby who has been ill uh, through a summer with diarrhea. Morrow cured it with the sanicula 50m. A peculiar symptom in the case being that the boy wanted to lie on something hard, thin as he was. Morrow uh, had himself suffered since a boy from effects of suppressed itch. Among his symptoms were. felt as if had a, had on cold damp stockings and sweat about the head and neck when when asleep wetting the pillow far around calcarea gave no relief normal ga symptom anaga calcarea karbistam kaani ee drug lo kuda calcarea kalustundi kada sharbino advised sanicula and after taking it maro was in better health and he had been for 10 and for 20 years Maro also relates the case these cases one a lady was constipated a year had to strain very hard to expel the stool at times uh, feces so large hard and dry uh, she was compelled to pick it out with the fingers sanicula relieved number two a fig wart on glands penis with a uh, discharge from its surface which smelled like fish brine sanicula cured uh, good lash relates these cases number 1 mrs k felt an attack of fever impending sad and despondent uh, had fever the previous night with a headache but no thirst mouth dry tongue coated had uh, bad breath uh, inside lips and cheeks many little abscess ulcers no appetite bowels constipated tired numb lame feeling in all limbs chilly craves warm the yet head feels better in open air sanicula tenem <laughs> sanicula tenem every 3 hours cured number 2 mr c complained that uh, the roof of the uh, roof of his mouth felt scalded aggravated by taking anything warm in the stomach especially hot drink smokers have this kind of sore mouth but patient was not a smoker good good lash remembered his own similar symptom of the proving and gave sanicula 10m which, which promptly removed the condition sanicula causes a burning of the tongue so intense that it must be put out to cool baitike talagalike that one said that the burning on the tongue ke here again is the aggravation by warm of the mouth number 3 good lash Gundlash Harth uh, was out of health would not eat bowels constipated stools dark and scant tired rubbed his tail <laughs> at every opportunity till nearly all the hair was rubbed off a veterinarian di- diagnosed lampers and said the gums uh, would be found swollen and sore and would need sc- uh, scarifying the gums were found sore and swollen mouth slimy tongue coated sanicula 10m was given thrice daily with no sacrifice and, and no uh, scarifying was needed tangi pen than madam he was well in a few days sherbino removed with sanicula 10m and 50m these symptoms in a man suffering from after effects of influenza and much drugging soreness through stomach and liver region they were enlarged great tenderness to pressure or jar uh, could not laugh without supporting stomach and bowels emelerated when stomach full aggravated when it was empty gm chase relates a case of acute gastric catarrh patient had had repeated attacks of uh, lasting 3 to 7 days two doses of sanicula cured the mental symptoms were the were the chief guides irritable least word or action would upset her uh, misconstructs everything melancholy sad depressed no energy fever but no thirst headache cannot bear light or noise offensive breath but not from teeth rheumatic pains in shoulders aggravated by lev- aggravated left extending to chest only amelioration from heat 
patient sat with back to the fire. <coughs> Good luck. Uh, Good luck. Uh, relates to this similar case. Mrs. W. 55, after a violent cold two days before, uh, had great pain in the muscles of neck, shoulders and upper back. Pain constant but made uh, sharp by attempts to put her hands to her head or behind her. Could not look round without turning whole body. Aggravated from cold or motion. <coughs> aggravated from cold or motion, ameliorated from warmth and rest until she gets tired of holding head and body in one position when uh, she would have no, uh, she had, would have to move it. Sanicula 30 made a rapid cure. CM Bogger relates the case of a light-haired carpenter 35 who had hacking cough from trachea after rising in morning also in evening, sneezing occasionally during day, crusty sores in right nostril, dull pain in frontal sinuses, aggravated stooping, aching, aching in muscles of whole back, stitches upward, aggravated from motion, foot sweat, uh, making feet uh, sore, stiffens uh, uh, stockings, destroys uh, shoes, itching eruption over sternum, Itching pimples on coccyx, Sanicula tenem cured. Gundlash relates these two cases for of constipation. Yeah. Number one, Mr. A always uh, accustomed to take pills. No stool nor desire for, for five, five days. Dull frontal headache with vertigo, stooping or getting up suddenly causes vertigo. When walking, gets blind and dizzy, has to stand still, uh, stand still uh, till it passes off. Poor appetite, tongue large and flabby, coated yellowish, bad taste in morning, at times a stomach full and oppressed after eating, accumulation of gas, stool scanty and requires great effort to expel, not done sensation after stool, sanicula tenem cured promptly and completely. Number 2. Miss R. 20. Constipated all her life. Goes a week without desire. Great effort required to expel stool, which would at times uh, slip back. Canicula 30 helped at once. Guernsey relates several cases of bowel disorder in children. Number 1. R. Aged 1 month has a sore mouth. Jumps on waking from sleep. Stool difficult uh, with straining. Canicula 10 m cured in few days. Three months later, the same child had swelling about eyes, discharge of water from nose, rubs nose constantly, looking frightened. Sanicula 10 m cured in five doses. <laughs> Number two, B. For months, stool lose green, restless at night, losing flesh, eyes look very uh, heavy, uh, has uh, had sore mouth, removed by mother with uh, borax wash. Sanicula 10M, 50M and CM gradually cured. Number 3. Yes, age is 7 months, stool uh, loose and copious. Stool becomes pale on standing. Ur uh, urinates much. Vomits large uh, chunks of milk. Vacants screaming in night. Sanicula 10M. All symptoms disappeared, but a large carbuncle appeared on right buttock, which however was less painful than in size, than its size would indicate. Opened in five openings and discharged within a week, rapid, uh, discharged within a week. Rapid recovery following. <laughs> so this is for today. Sastibrajabhya Paripala Yanta Nayena Margena Mahim Mahesha Go Brahmane Jasubamasu Nicham Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti Sha